Did you hear about the guy who tried to eat a clock? It was very time consuming. Speaking of time, let's spend the next few minutes exploring some tips for self-improvement. We're not talking about your average run-of-the-mill tips. Oh no, we're diving into a fun, light-hearted approach to bettering oneself. We've got 10 tips lined up, each one packed with a dash of humor and a ton of practicality. So buckle up and get ready for a laughter-filled journey to self-improvement. Remember when I walked into a wall because I was too shy to say hi to my crush? Yeah, awkward. But let me tell you, that blush-inducing blunder was a turning point. It made me realize that sometimes you just have to step out of your comfort zone, even if it means walking into walls, literally or metaphorically, because that's how you grow, how you learn. So next time you find yourself in an awkward situation, don't run, embrace it. Did I ever tell you about the time I tried to impress everyone with my cooking skills and ended up setting the kitchen on fire? Good times. That day I learned the hard way that I was no Gordon Ramsay, but you know what? I also discovered the delightful magic of laughter. Yes, my friends, laughter, especially at our own blunders, can be the most potent antidote to stress, embarrassment, and even failure. So remember, when you stumble, don't grumble, just laugh it off. Laughing at ourselves can be the best stress relief, try it. Once I set a goal to learn how to juggle while riding a unicycle. Sounds ridiculous, right? But guess what, it worked. I spent weeks mastering the art of balance and coordination, falling more times than I can count. But the joy of finally achieving that ridiculous goal? Unforgettable. You see, setting lofty goals, even seemingly absurd ones, can push us to test our limits, learn new skills, and grow. So don't be afraid to set ridiculous goals. They might just be the push you need. Remember that time I danced like a maniac at a party without caring about anyone watching? Best night ever. It was as if the dance floor was my own personal stage and I was the star of the show. I was free, liberated from all inhibitions and judgments. Dancing without a care in the world taught me the joy of being authentically myself. It was a moment of pure, unadulterated joy. So put on your favorite song and dance like no one's watching. Trust me, it's liberating. Did I ever tell you about the time I failed my driving test five times? Yeah, not my proudest moment. Each time I managed to invent a new way to mess up. Parallel parking? More like perpendicular parking. But here's the thing. Each failure taught me something new, like how not to park. And when I finally passed on the sixth try, it wasn't just a driving license I earned, but resilience. Remember failure is just a stepping stone to success. Don't be afraid to fail. Remember when I was grateful for getting stuck in traffic because it meant I could finish listening to my favorite podcast? Well, there's a story behind it. I used to get incredibly frustrated with traffic until one day, I decided to turn it into my me time. Now I look forward to it. I catch up on podcasts, audiobooks, even language lessons. It's all about perspective, folks. Gratitude doesn't always have to be serious. So find your silver linings and practice gratitude in your own quirky way. Remember when I accidentally left my phone at home and ended up having the most relaxing day at the park? There was a certain tranquility, a peace that came from simply being in the moment. The birds sounded clearer, the grass felt softer, and the world seemed just a little bit brighter. Unplugging from technology can be a refreshing way to recharge your mind and spirit. So take a break from your screens and unwind. You'll thank yourself later. Remember when I joined that laughter yoga class and ended up making some of the most positive friends ever? Well, that's the power of surrounding yourself with positivity. It's like standing in the sunlight, you can't help but soak up the warmth. These friends, they're like my personal cheer squad, always there to lift me up, to share a laugh, to push me forward. Believe me, it's a game changer. Surround yourself with positive people and you'll be surprised by the difference it makes. Did I ever tell you about the time I learned how to do a handstand while brushing my teeth? Yeah, it's a weird skill, but it's fun. Life isn't always about serious learning. Sometimes picking up an unusual skill or knowledge can be refreshing. It breaks the monotony, sparks creativity, and brings in a dose of laughter. Like when I learned to juggle apples while reciting my grocery list. Random? Maybe. Fun and mind-stretching? Absolutely. So, go out there and learn something silly. It's more fun than you think. Remember when I celebrated for a whole week after finally getting that pesky jar lid open? It was a small win, but boy did it feel grand. Our lives are brimming with these tiny victories, these miniature moments of triumph that often go unnoticed. But here's the thing. It's these little wins that pave the way for the big ones. So, whether it's finally nailing that yoga pose, or remembering to water your plants, 
Relish these moments. Celebrate your small victories, because they lead to the big ones. And there you have it. 10 tips for self-improvement, sprinkled with a dash of humor. Embrace awkwardness, laugh at yourself, set wild goals, dance freely, learn from failure, practice gratitude, unplug, stay positive, learn something silly, and celebrate every victory. Remember, life is too short to be serious all the time, so smile, laugh, and improve yourself one chuckle at a time.